So I feint the jab, I show the two, my body's already angling. I'm trailing the same side head kick behind the two. Because a lot of times the reaction you get from the two is this, right? That's the area I'm trying to kick in, right? So I show the jab, I show the two, and then I trail the kick right behind my two. I'm throwing the two directly at their face, but the upper part of my body is leaning as I throw the two. So I have this opening of my hips to kick over with. I can't go faint two kick. Doesn't make any sense, it's stupid, right? I show the jab, I throw the two, my body's leaning. And I kick right behind my glove. So I faint the jab to his eyes. So that by the time it, it leaves his eyes, the other punch should be there already. If I just go, like this is, it's still a faint, but it's a misdirection. Like if I want, the, I want him to look at this so I can land here. Right? right now, I'm just feigning just above his eyes, so I can touch here, so I can touch here. Right? So point it at him, so all he sees is glove, and when the glove leaves, the other punch is there already. A lot of times, I know that they're going to chase me this way. Right? So the kick should be draping in behind me. Right? I don't want to go hop, 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 and then just be right here for the counter. Right? Hup, hup, hup. What happens is you're so worried about the angle of the kick that you just start going, boom, and launching it, which is just the head kick, but it doesn't, it's none of the fate, none of the setup. So show this, get him to react to this, your hip's leaning, and then kick over it.